I typically stage ballets for the Balanchine Trust that go on the more classical side of things. I don't have the so-called neoclassical um, rep in my works. I don't do the leotard ballets. I do the ballets where you see the tutus. Working with Balanchine, you try very hard to get across to your students and to the dancers that you're working with everything that he was about. But to have uh, experienced it firsthand is a whole other story. The number of times that I performed in the Nutcracker has really served me well because I know all the steps, I know all the parts, and it was beaten into me because I did it so often that to, to stage the ballet now is very easy for me, actually. The, the Balanchine Nutcracker, of course, does have lots of special elements to it, but none of those elements is anything that takes away from the story, and I think that's very important. We, of course, have a magical Christmas tree. This tree has hundreds of color mixing LEDs. And Josh Monroe, our lighting designer, really did a yeoman's job of learning the technology, learning how to exploit them without losing the character of the Balanchine choreography and without losing, really, the values of CPYB. Marie and the Prince travel on their journey th through the snow and there's a marvelous blizzard, a blizzard that is uh, expressed through brilliant choreography that is uh, remarkably precise, sometimes breakneck fast. They're also getting bombarded with snow from three different points on the stage, and uh, that snow is also being swept around by a series of fans and the winds, and it makes for a really wonderful blizzard. We all have our jobs backstage. Whether you're one of the angels at the top of Act Two, or you're the cavalier who has to partner your sugar plum, or you're the flyman whose job is to pull the right rope in the right direction at the right time, or the follow spot operator who has to follow the Sugar Plum Fairy as she's lifted overhead. We all have our jobs, and it is a remarkably intricate and carefully choreographed action backstage as well as on stage. Um, because everything that the dancers are doing so carefully on the right counts and in the right place on stage is complemented by our doing our part at the right time. Staging the Nutcracker is unique because of the children and um, that to me makes it more special. I mean that is so fun because they are over the top excited every single year to start this production and that wears off on me and it makes me become excited about the production again. I see it through fresh eyes. Here we are, this is the Central Pennsylvania Youth Ballet and we have our young dancers out on that stage doing the same choreography that some of the finest dancers in the world are dancing. And they do it with Marcia's signature technique, with Darla's magic touch with the Balanchine style. They are wonderful performers and they hit the wings and all of a sudden they're 12 or 13 again and they're talking about uh, what they did last night after rehearsal and they just become kids again. Until the next entrance and then they're back out on stage knocking your socks off again. And that is one of the things that is so remarkable for me about CPYB.